Good morning, SMF Street Traders. What we're looking at right now is I'm just going to be bidding in here for Scotty on these at 27.85. So we're going to do what yesterday in pre-market we had talked about buying the bull when it was gapping down, and when the bear made the high was then shorting that and shorting that and going long off the bottom. And this this here was a tremendous intraday dollar price action movement. It was wonderful. Both of these are, and they're, you know, one's a short and one's a long. And it's related, you know, it says Q, 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 Q there. So what is that? Well, hey, it's related to the broader uh, NASDAQ comp, in my view. But once again, what moves it are stocks like Apple. There was some upgrades today on Apple. Ridiculous upgrades. Uh, Priceline was upgraded to $428, so watch the Priceline trade. PCLN, let's make sure that we're coherent about that. Uh, let's also make sure that we're coherent at that uh, top price action at resistance MMT's price line has that upgrade and so does Apple and what I'm going to tell you is that you're going to watch the broader part of do they move right in and if you break half of the price action bar with a red sell gap, that means a distribution gap, a sell into the gap at that dollar price action is where you get net short. That will happen intraday. I do promise you that it will. And I also promise that they will come off of their highs. And I also promise you that this will come off of its lows. And that all MMTs are trained with, you know, understanding the true principles of long trades and short trades equaling positive debit trades. So therefore, when price action fails, that's where the SMF MMT makes his move. And using the SMF platform again will show you the pinpointed precise accuracy. And those are the uh, MMT's platform there. And it's a special pricing platform that will have strength and weaknesses that's built in that mathematical equation. So therefore, watch for the sell gaps. The thing about it is, after the upgrades on Apple and Priceline, let's take a look at those. Let's take a look at those. Here it is. Here's the gap, 354. The close was 348. So they're working that one lateral. Another thing, Netflix is, look for the top in Netflix. You have to look for the top in that one. That one there, we've, it, it's been long and deep and getting longer and deeper into the trend. You can see that $2 gap. And basically what you would be looking at, MMTs, is when that price action bar fails at half the price action and it cannot close above it, then you have to execute because that's where the money is going to print. If Apple can't get moving, per se, and here's Google right now. Look. 529.95. 527.69 was a close. So based on the better than expected GDP number to 1.7,
you've got this pre-market gap based on that economic headline news. That's where the gap is coming from in pre-market right now. And what you're going to be looking at is on the top end of the trade because you always want to look at the right elbow gap up called the SMF right elbow. That's, that's just the opposite of that left elbow gap down made at a certain price. Wherever that price is going to be made, that's where you need to be. And in that price action bar in your platform, it's going to tell you and you're going to execute. So the MMTs understand, once again, pre-open, pre-market, 5.59 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today's date, 9.30 of 2010, we'll be looking for, is there going to be any pump and dump or any portfolio dressing and these kinds of things that is going to happen? Well, we're going to take a look. Maybe uh, instead of buying, they're going to be selling into the move. So we're going to monitor that price action and the buyers above the market from the previous day's close are buyers going to come in there and another thing is how many people who have been shorting the market have to buy to cover on that gap and that would make that power stronger and you've all learned about that. So that's the kinds of things that we're looking for this morning. And once again, it's where this one makes its bottom. Watch the VIX, the VXN, and watch your other bear and bull funds. And be ready to trade them. If you're breaking out on the bull, and you're breaking out on the NASDAQ 100, then you know you want to be in the names like uh, getting that wholesale bid on Apple, Remember, Apple had the upgrade. Okay? If they sell off into the upgrade, either one, then we know that people are taking a distribution. And there's Apple right there. There's the gap. Bid and ask. 80. 288.60 by 288.77 pennies. Price action. Volume pre market 128,000 and 625. So, what we're going to be looking at is where that price is made. If they slide the bid below the market at the lower price action levels and you get that nice huge green buy bar, you execute. But make sure that all the other uh, readings in your platform are moving in that correct direction to support your entry. That's pre-market action. There's a lot of other things going on right now. So basically we have a huge gap because GDP is supposed to be at 1.7 versus 1.6. Okay. Get ready, MMTs. At 6.02, they're still walking that TQQQ. So we got 28 minutes to the open. This one's a little volatile right here. But just remember, you go up in price. So go up to 114.75. And throw a limit order out there now. In case they flash a wick up there, they will execute you. And then... Keep the stop, though, pretty tight. Keep it at a teeny, whatever it is, on this one here. 